Our main character, Morrigan Crow, has been whisked from her home in the Winter Sea Republic, where she was about to be killed by a mysterious force called the Hunt of Smoke and Shadow because she was born on Eventide, a day when all the children who are born will be forever cursed to die in that same day. Jupiter North, her patron, took her to Nevermore, the free state where she had to compete against many other children for a spot in the coveted wondrous society, as well as for Morgan, a spot as a citizen of Nevermore. In the third and final trial, where she must display a talent, her patron Jupiter reveals that she does not have a talent. Jupiter persuades the judges to let her stay, under the condition that she must acquire nine signatures in a week. This will bring bad luck with Inspector Flintlock, the law-abiding strict inspector, as well as the challengers, Cadence and Noel, who want to see Morgan out of the state. the judges like me so much. Well, I doubt that we will be able to get all of the signatures in one week. I would love to see those papers now, North. Uh, I'm afraid I don't have them on me. Um, I have her papers right here. As everything is in order. But that troll fight, these are Morgan's official papers. Everything is in order here. Have a good day, sir. How did you do that, Cadence? It's my talent. I'm a hypnotist. Wait, did you just remember me? Why wouldn't I? Nobody is supposed to remember hypnotists. Why? Well, thank you, but why did you help me? Because, because I hate Noel. I don't like you either, but I really hate Noel. And because you remember me. We have to go, Kate. It's Kate's fun, whatever. All right, you win this time, Crow. You have to go. That Cadence girl isn't so bad. Who's Cadence? Should we just go now? All right. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>